One of the big questions is how much data is there? That same amount of data that was generated all the way up to 2003 is being repeated in generation every two days. The amount of data is exponentially increasing. We say that it's being doubled every two years, uh, which means that uh, depending on whether this is 2015 or 2017 when you're watching this, we will have doubled, trebled, quadrupled uh, beyond what we're talking about. So the main question for us, and probably many in the optical industry, will this exponential growth continue forever? And so everybody's afraid, well, what are they doing with this data? Why are they keeping this information? Is someone going to use it against me? The reality is, if a service provider is using your data against you maliciously, you're going to turn off and it's really easy to download another application and switch to a new service provider. So I doubt it. I think there's a very simple consumer methodology to just walk away from a service provider you don't want. So the other one is maliciousness. Is there malicious behavior? Will someone steal this data and use this data against me? So I have a choice. I can unplug entirely from the system and not participate, or I can participate knowing that I'm going to have X percent of my life infringed upon from time to time. And the reality is in the real world, I've only been mugged once, um, but I still carry around a wallet in my pocket. So it's a choice I make. The data center, as we collect the data, as we compute the data, as we store the data, and as we use the data to create new opportunities, new services, has two roles. One data center has to store all the data, potentially for very, very long periods of time, and compute that data and analyze that data and decide what specific portions of it to pull out. It can get even more complicated that as the data becomes colder and colder, i.e. less touched, less tapped, it may even be stored somewhere even cheaper, even more remote, uh, using even less energy. Because again, it's consuming energy to keep this data alive. The other data center that is effectively allowing you and me to access the compute and storage power. And so you have a connectivity building, which is where effectively the permanent and the temporary links are created that allow you to go into the compute and say, can you please give me, can you please look up, can you please allow me access to the data that's stored there. This group is power hungry, inefficient, whereas this group is actually becoming tighter and tighter and tighter and actually becoming more and more efficient. It's not just about how we use the application, it's the rippling effect that that has on the infrastructure that has to be generated and eventually the energy that has to be put to work to maintain that digital universe as we want it. <laughs> 